Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist TJ Springer. The gray and damp conditions holding to kick off our work week at the live glance in the city of Lebanon. We can see that somewhat eerie view. It's kind of fitting as All Hallows Eve is tomorrow, right? It's kind of exciting. It feels a lot cooler than how our weekend began with temperatures in the 80s. Record breaking temps. We're back closer to where we should be for this time of the year and this cold front going to reinforce that cooler feel. Super Doppler rate pinpointing some of the showers along that boundary as it's continuing to work off to the east. We do have some upper level dynamics dynamics, some energy that is going to keep the potential for showers around though as we progress into the afternoon. With all the moisture in the air, we do have some reduced visibility down to four in Lebanon, two and a half in the capital, two in Carlisle. So if you are heading out, remember to use those low beans, uh, travel with caution and remember to leave a little distance too between your vehicle and the one in front of you. A news, eight, a news eight storm team forecast shapes up like this. A little wet as the rain starts to taper to showers through the latter half of our day. We'll have temperatures right around 60, not climbing much from where they are right now. But as we tap into some cooler and drier air, we'll see the clouds diminishing and that will lead to the potential at least for frost. And that's why we have this impact night underway with temperatures falling back into the middle 30s to around 40 could have some outlying areas closer to freezing Then tomorrow chillier with that north to northwesterly breeze 50 to 54 under plenty of sunshine as high pressure at the surface briefly takes over the valley. We have 54 degrees in Sealands Grove 70 though in Gettysburg a big difference out of that front. It's a lot warmer across northern Maryland. We have 55 in Lebanon 58 currently in Chambersburg, but look where we're heading tonight. Some of us back closer to freezing, as I mentioned, like Lewistown, closer to 40, though, in the metro areas. I think the frost potential is still, uh, I don't want to say up in the air, but we have the wind that has to settle first, and it's still going to be elevated some through the overnight. But nonetheless, we have this advisory from 4 a.m. through 9 a.m. tomorrow morning across most of the region, so it's going to be cooler. Be sure to bundle up early tomorrow. It'll feel chilly tonight if you're heading out to any parades for Halloween. This includes uh, Hummelstown, Lidditz and Red Lion will fall back to around 54 through 7 o'clock as the parades kick off with Thames Spectre 52 as you're heading on home. Stepping through time on Predictor, we can see that cold front continuing to work on through. There's that cooler air moving in from the northwest through the evenings through dinner time. Still could have a couple of sprinkles out there, but then the clouds are breaking up. We're seeing more sunshine as we head through our Tuesday morning, but it is going to be chilly out there. Our News 8 Storm Team 10 day forecast shows even cooler air ahead. As the system develops offshore on Wednesday, that secondary cold front moves through only 48 lows below freezing as we awaken on Thursday. High pressure builds plenty of sunshine Thursday and Friday. Temps start to rebound too. We're back into the 60s this weekend. Remember to fall back and we have some more rain chances ahead to Sunday and again early the following week.